hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for your support okay so if you haven't been subscribed to me please consider doing so i post two times a week on tuesday and saturday this is a quick video these are my recently complimented fragrances you know last time i made video like this was 2019 2020 well before COVID, yeah 2019 before COVID. now that i'm back to work and since COVID, i don't really make this kind of video because i don't have proof that people complimented me but now that i'm back to work now i have proof and these are the one that i got comment on so the first one is narciso pudre so whenever i wore this one of my coworker would always say that I smell like a sexy librarian. So yeah, Narciso Pudre. This is a beautiful, silky, smooth, powdery, musky, lotion type of scent. I really, really enjoy it. This has been my favorite. And I don't know what he meant by a sexy librarian because to me, this one doesn't smell like a sexy librarian. If anything, this one smells like a very well pampered you know high class well off wealthy type of women that's beautiful and silky smooth and she take care of herself very well so that's what this smells like to me um by the way this fragrance is i get compliment but don't pay attention too much on the the comment that they gave just because they're random <laughs> And I don't know what, some of them make sense, some of them don't make sense. Like to me, this one doesn't smell like sexy librarian. If you think that this one smells like sexy librarian, let me know in the comment down below. I don't think so. All right, so the second perfume that I get the most compliment is Kenzo Flower Elixir. Men goes gaga with this. This is a beautiful raspberry, powdery, sweet, syrupy, sugary type of scent. Um, I'm keeping this because I do enjoy wearing this but mainly because I get so many compliments and guys like this a lot so whenever I wear this I would get a comment from friends saying that oh what's that smell so intoxicating so it's pretty crazy like this is a aphrodisia for men so if you want something that brings compliment go ahead and check this one out I I think it brings more compliment more than more than it smells good to me personally just to be honest all right so the third one is memo la libella so I wore this when I was at a friend's um, birthday party and she absolutely love it and she keeps sniffing herself and I could smell this from uh, miles away when she's wearing it and the central is really beautiful and during the birthday party people were also asking and complimenting this scent here memo la libella before i wore it to a birthday party and before she wears it to her birthday party i wasn't into this because to me this one smells like hair oil but there's something intoxicating there's something addictive in memo la libella it's like a musky it's a very musky floral scent um so this one brings more compliment than personal enjoyment to be honest for me but nonetheless it's a good one so the next one that gives me a lot of compliment is this is shabbat mason the parfum late the biscuit <laughs> so whenever i wear this people think that there is vanilla mm, vanilla i want to eat vanilla ice cream that's the comment that i got i don't know if i enjoy having that comment this one i don't know the projection is not there much it's very subtle it sits closer to the skin but then when you walk past people people could actually smell the central of this one and that's how i get the compliment so yeah apparently this one leaves the scent bubbles that people actually notice it when i wear it and they give compliment but I don't think they associate it as a perfume. They just say, mmm, vanilla, vanilla ice cream. <laughs> okay, so number five fragrance that gives me 
compliment is Gucci Achan for the nymphs. Surprisingly, Shabbat laid the biscuit and Gucci Chan of the nymphs are more like a um, sits closer to the skin type of scent. They don't really project. But uh, this one, when I, when I wore this to work, one of the guys says that this one smells like picnic. He said that, wow, that smells good. It reminds me of my childhood picnic. So this one has frangipani, tiare, I think tuberose. So maybe one of the flower reminds him of the picnic. He enjoys it. And he gives me compliment every time I wear this. So apparently that's really good. The last but not least of perfume that gives me a lot of compliment. Even though I wanted to declutter this and I actually listed this on sale in Mercari and accidentally sold it twice but I keep changing my mind and I figure I want to keep it and this is BDK tuberose imperial this is a beautiful tuberose spicy tuberose like leathery rubbery type of tuberose that's spicy it's very beautiful it's not too sweet it smells like like a really fancy high class type of scent um, so during winter and spring this one doesn't smell as good it smells like a um, like a, a spicy leathery rubbery scent but for some reason the tuberose like blooms during summer so I absolutely love this during summer I enjoy it so much but I don't really enjoy this during winter but every time like before I sell it I put it on and and I instantly click cancel. <laughs> so apparently this is one of the perfume that I've decluttered and cluttered back, decluttered and cluttered back. So I think this one's gonna stay for a while. So yeah, that's it guys. These are the perfume that I receive compliments lately. Um, so I just started going to work starting July and these are the perfume that I receive compliment um, as of the past two months so uh, I know that the Delta variant for COVID you know it's getting worse and worse I don't know what's gonna happen next I figure it's time to make this video and out before we're going for another lockdown you know alright guys thank you so much for watching I'll see you in the next one bye bye